Today on The Daily Dose, the assassination of President McKinley. Elected president in 1896 against Democratic rival William Jennings Bryan, William McKinley successfully led the nation back to prosperity after the Panic of 1893, as well as leading the military to victory in the Spanish-American War, which saw the Spanish colonies of Puerto Rico and the Philippines handed over to the United States. Re-elected handily in a rematch against Bryan in 1900, McKinley was poised for another four years of high popularity, along with his second-term vice president, Theodore Roosevelt. Despite the assassinations of Abraham Lincoln in 1865 and James Garfield in 1881, McKinley frequently chose to sideline his security detail so that the president could mingle with the American people any chance he could get. During a long trip scheduled for the months following his second inauguration, McKinley scheduled major speeches intending to promote his plan for more protective tariffs on foreign goods, culminating with a speech at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. When McKinley's wife Ida became gravely ill on a cross-country train trip, McKinley postponed his visit to the exposition, finally making his way to Buffalo on September 5, 1901. On September 5th, while McKinley and his wife disembarked their private car at the Buffalo train station, anarchist George Chogas made his first secretive attempt on the president's life, but finding McKinley too well guarded, he dropped back for a second attempt on September 6th. An immigrant from Poland, Chogas regarded McKinley as a symbol of wealth and oppression over the working man. And when McKinley reached to shake Chaugas's hand in the reception line at the exposition, Chaugas shot the president twice in the abdomen with a concealed pistol he kept wrapped in a linen napkin. In the days following his injuries, McKinley appeared to be recovering. However, he died of gangrene on September 14th, making him the third sitting American president to lose his life to an assassin's bullet. After Chaugas was executed by means of electrocution, in 1906, Congress passed legislation designating the Secret Service as the agency in charge of all future presidential security. And there you have it, the assassination of President McKinley, today on The Daily Dose.